Okay, this is just a little short one on wiring in a stack switch on an oil furnace. Uh, if you have a stack switch, it usually is used as a J box or junction box for the power coming in. And if you look in the lower right, you've got a 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1 is your hot lead, that's the one you're going to switch. 2 is going to be common, which will you'll hook all your commons up together. And three is going to be the burner motor itself. And four will be the transformer for ignition. Now you can hook uh, the transformer to three if you want. That'll just mean the spark runs all the time rather than shutting off when the burner proves. But either way will work fine. Uh, on the left you have uh, the terminals for the thermostat. Now this has got its own little transformer in it. That's that thing on the upper left. And uh, all you have to do is put your thermostat between T and T. Don't bother with that third terminal. You don't need it. If you uh, hook your thermostat between T and T, then it will trial for ignition. That'll mean that the burner motor will come on, the igni ignition will come on, the spark igniter will come on, and it'll light the burner. If the burner lights within 70 seconds, and these are a 70 second control, then it'll stay on. If not, it's gonna, it'll shut off and it does not reset. You have to reset it uh, manually to get it to reset. But that's about all there is to these uh, oil burner stack switches. Uh, simple enough to hook up.